did you say? You Welcome back to another Layla. tutorial. We're studying for this Good. test. Now remember, I'm going to give you my little, my little uh, uh, special thing I taught you all, right? I taught you that S, S looks like that, so it's got two, kind of like, it's got two 90s, two curves, and C's only got 190, right? So supplementary is for 180. Yes. And complementary is for 90. Anybody use that trick? Yeah, so I use the other one. The two X's or the two, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, you have to know the names of these, right? Scalene, isosceles, right? Isosceles. You have to know scale factor for this. And you have to know how to make equations from geometry pictures, diagrams. All right, so first guest is the monkey man coming all the way from the zoo. Let's hear it for the monkey man. Woo! Oh, you gotta add 180 plus 140, uh, minus 141. So subtract. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What's 180 it? minus 141. Equals and 39. That equals 39. So we gotta borrow. Now, what kind of angles are these? Supplementary. Yes, supplementary. That means they add up to 180. Okay, very good. Let's hear it from Monkey Man. And now let's welcome LJ to the stage. LJ to the stage. All right, LJ, how do we do this one? Uh, you subtract 90 by 53. You subtract 90 by 53, and what do we get? Um, 37. That is correct. And what kind of angles are these? Complementary. That's correct. Complementary. You're going to have to know this. Please make sure you know it. All right, let's hear it for LJ and welcome the Easter Bunny. Yay. Okay, Easter Bunny, it's your turn. Easter. And then after Easter Bunny, the next one's got to go up there. Go ahead. Go up there. Go up there. All right, how do we do this one, sir? Number three. You wrote it down, remember? Yeah. Okay. So the angles are vertical. Good job. Vertical. That means they're across from each other. And what's the answer? How much is B? 82. 82. Good job. All right. And let's welcome Monkey Boy the third. Now, you should have been waiting up there. I asked you to. And then Gator oh, sorry, is going to be Pat. waiting after him. Please forgive me, Mr. Pat. Okay, sir. Mm. Now, let help us get the two different names of these triangles. Okay. First one. Acute. Acute. That's correct. And why is it acute? Because it's less than 90. Right, all of these three angles are all less than 90. Okay, and what's the other name for it? Uh, it's scalene. Right, and why it, is that? Because it has no equal angles. Right, well, sides. Sides, because I all mean. these sides are all one, two, three, so those are all different. Okay, how about number five? Um, it's, uh, it's obtuse. Obtuse, how do you know? Because it's more than 90. Right, because it's a really big angle. Okay, so this big angle right here means it's up to it. Okay, what's the other name for it? Isosceles. Isosceles, that's correct. Oops, isosceles. Yes. Quickly. Okay, and what's number six? Uh, number six, it's right. Mm -hmm. Isosceles. Right angle there. Uh huh. Isosceles. And isosceles because there's two sides. Yeah. Well, you didn't even check your answer with me. That was excellent. All right, let's hear it for Monkey Boy the Third. Yeah, monkey Bird, I love you. Okay, and we got Gatorade coming all the way from the store. From the store. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can you tell us how to do this problem, Mister Gatorade, please? Yes. Wait, what kind of Gatorade are you? Uh, the lime. Um, 
the blue flavored. Blue, blue raspberry. Yeah. I just made it up. Okay. How do we do this problem, Gatorade? All right. So you gotta put fifty four on the top, um, and then ninety five on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you gotta add those. Two. Add them together. Very good. And we get one hundred forty nine. And then you put one eighty, and then one forty nine. Mm -hmm. Minus minus both those. Mm -hmm. Put nine on the top. So we get we get thirty one. Thirty one. All right. Now that's excellent. You did it perfectly. Now, why do we subtract from one eighty? What's the reason we did that? Do you know anybody know? Oh, uh, wait, what? Why did we subtract from one eighty? Because of that's. The right thing to do. Because all the angles of a triangle always add up to 180. Remember when we had the triangles and we ripped off the corners? Yeah. Okay. And how do we check? There's a way to check your answer. How do you do that? Go ahead. That's right. We add them up. So 54 plus 95 plus 31, and that all equals 180. Okay, let's hear it for Gatorade. Blue yeah, raspberry. Very good flavor. Very good flavor. Now we got the devious Oompa Loompa. Oompa Doompa Doompa Dee Doo. Doo Dee 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 uh, so, oh yeah, so yeah, so three is nine three three. Yeah, not, I don't know, but three times three equals nine, right? No, well, actually, that is one way to do it, but we we want to go comparing this rectangle to this rectangle. How much bigger is it? Okay, so. How many times bigger is it? This uh, other rectangle. Twelve. Right. So that's called the uh, supplementary. No. But. It's on your paper. You wrote it down. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Uh, scale. Right. The scale factor, and that tells you how many times bigger it is. So it's times twelve. But that's not our final answer because we need to find x. So how? What is x? Uh. So. 12 times 9. Right. You have to do multiply times 12, and you get 108. So x yeah. equals 108. Okay, well, how about 9? All right, so. How many times bigger is this triangle than that triangle? Uh, 2. Yeah, 2. Not two. No, it's not 2. Dude. I'm not dude. Um, uh, okay. From the 4 to the 32, how many times bigger? Uh. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna help him. How many times bigger? Eight. eight. It's times eight. Okay, so therefore, when we go over here from the 64, oh, that eight didn't work, did it? No, it did. It's glitching a little bit. Okay, when we go from the eight, from the 64 back here, we need to divide by eight. So what do we get? Uh, 64 divided by eight, everybody. Oh, uh, uh, eight. It's eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. So, oop, oop, oop. And now we've got mackerel fish coming from the ocean. Hey, no booing. All right. Okay, go ahead. How do we do this problem? Um, so you, you take uh, 5x plus 1 and... For these, this one and this one. What kind of angles are those? Are they supplementary? What are they? No. Oh, no, they're vertical. They're vertical. Okay, so if these are vertical, then that means they are equal to each other, right? So give us the equation. It's 5x plus 1 mm -hmm. equals 36. Right. So if these were next to each other, if this 36 was over here, then what would you have to do, everybody? You'd have to add them to oh. equal 180. Okay, now you have to know that for the test. You can't just know exactly what's on this review here. 
All right, so I'm going to challenge you, Mackerel, here. So what we're going to solve this. Okay, who's the superstar in that equation? Right here. Superstar. X. Good job. Who's co-star? Five. Yes. Who's extra? One. Good. Okay, what do we get rid of first? Extra. Yeah, the extra. So minus one on both sides. Uh, stop switching, computer. 5x is equal to 35. And then we divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get x is equal to 7. All right? So what does that mean? That means that, well, we know these, these angles have to equal each other. Remember when I hold up, held up those big sticks? So 5 times what? Times 7, right? That makes 35 plus 1, and that'll be the same, 36 and 36. Okay, bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye.